Welcome to the Frugal Family. My name is Julie and uh, I went dumpster diving. Let me show you. Can't tell if that chair is broken or not. We'll have to grab it and take a look. And what is that in that bag? Streamlines. Oh, it's ice melt. Is that a whole bag of ice melt? Are you kidding me? I think we'll even take that ginormous uh, thing of evaporated milk. Yeah, why not? Why not? Lulu, will you get out the rake and the ladder? Just like the old vacuum. And I, am I, I was like, am I seeing wrong? Cause like those soda, boxes are empty but this one has at least one can in it it'd be really cool if they were like full of soda cans because lulu likes to collect those and then what is that black thing in there oh that's like probably cords for the vacuum i bet that's cords for the vacuum probably but seriously why would you throw away a whole bag of ice melt we live in utah like i know it's hot as hell right now but come on doesn't make sense but I'll happily take it. I'm gonna get this without putting holes in it. Oops. We can get it to, um, Great, just now. I'm gonna have to find the grabber now. Do you think you? Okay. So, let's get this chair while I'm holding the rake. Is it a perfectly good chair? It's a perfectly good chair. I don't see anything wrong with it. Do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It's a little frayed right there. We're gonna, um, I think we can melt that back together actually, cause this is plastic, like some kind of vinyl. I'm not gonna be able to lift those. All right, let's try for uh, these carnations. Or saved the rake for me. Whole big thing of Nestle Carnation Evaporated Milk. Good through March 2024. <sighs> what are we going to do with this ginormous thing? I don't know. I don't know. But there's another one and I'm going to get that one too. Okay. as close as I can get it. Okay, Olivia was able to get that thing out of the dumpsters for me. Hallelujah. She got it here into the van for me. I will have her uh, bring it to the porch. We're going to see if all of it will fit in the bucket that originally held Kitty's kitty litter. And we've been using it for like a year or two to, well, not two years. We haven't had Kitty that long, but anyway, that's where we've been putting our ice melt. So hopefully it all fits in there. If not, whatever is left over, we'll put out in the big shed and just have the tote on the porch. And then here are the two evaporated milks. Oh, and they're not sweet and condensed. Good, okay. 
That is so good because you know what? That provides a lot more opportunities for them. And these are so fantastic for storage, like your food storage. I'm actually going to keep them. I thought they were sweetened condensed. And I was like, what in the world am I going to do with that much sweetened condensed milk? But they're not. They're evaporated milk. So <laughs> I'm absolutely keeping these. I need to look up the price on all of these. And I'm going to put those prices here so that you can see how much money we saved for in an emergency because emergencies absolutely do happen. And in this day and age and climate change and everything, who knows? Okay. Who knows? So super excited for those. And then this, we just have to have it anyway, because we live in Utah and winter will be here before we know it. So I want to see how much money we saved by salvaging that from the dumpsters. Then we have the folding chair and I'm looking for the issues. What I have found is this needs to be screwed back in. It might be missing a bolt on the other side. Yep, it is. But I just so happen to have plenty of odds and ends bolts and they're organized. So no problem to fix that. That'll take two seconds. The other issue I found is right here and I don't want it to get worse. So we're not going to sit on it. Uh, anyone have ideas of how to repair this? I wonder, can you melt it back together? That's probably not the best idea. I don't know, because it is vinyl. And so, you know, it's plastic. So it could technically be kind of melted back together, but I don't know that that's ideal. Maybe I could do like a combo of melting it and also um, just a, a simple stitch. That won't take long at all. What I don't know is what kind of string to use. I wonder if this is like a vinyl-y, plastic -y kind of a string. Uh, whatever I'm going to do, it's going to be something really strong. I'll look through what I have and uh, stay tuned. We will get this repaired. That will probably be a video short and will be coming soon. So there you go. Just a quick, happy little dumpster dive that uh, I'm pretty dang proud of. And then there's Kitty. Kitty, what are you doing in here? Kitty. 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 She's always got to know what we are up to. You guys know that. You want me to hold it? Study. Uh. We had bought this last year and we used it all up and I saved it because why not? It's a lot easier to just carry this around and empty this than to, you know, fill from here or pull from there with like a, oh, a scoop. We can just keep refilling this. It's, it's bent. We gotta, there we go. Right away, put away in the pantry. It's important, frugal friends, if you're going to dumpster dive, save, salvage, curb pick, thrift, uh, yard sale, whatever, take care of the stuff right away. Learn from someone who's been doing this a long, long time and has suffered and learned so many hard lessons. Put it away right away. Next thing on the list, dust the pantry. No, it's not next on the list, but it is on the list. Thank you so much for coming along on today's Dumpster Dive. I have been Julie with the Frugal Family. I do hope that you are subscribed and coming along for our many dumpster diving and frugal living related adventures. We would love to have you along. So uh, yeah, hit that, that like, that subscribe and that bell notification and we will see you all very soon.